the whole time. All right. I mean that. It would also be a privilege to coach you to one more victory in the octagon. Let's go. All right. Get your head on straight. Let it soak in. You feel good? Yeah. Let's give him one more show. <laughs> Well, this is a belt that has changed hands quite a bit, and this number one Bantamweight contender believes it will again here tonight as she makes the walk for this title fight. She believes this title shot should have come earlier. She's not caught up in all that now, hasn't been during fight week. She's focused on the champion, and you see her staring her down right now. Crowd going crazy. She believes she is the best Bantamweight in the world and believes in a matter of moments here, she will be the new champion. So here she is, the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC champion. And to the surprise of some fans, she has said this will be her final UFC fight. She would like nothing more, of course, than to go out on top. Easier said than done here tonight as she hits the end of her career as the incumbent, the reigning, defending UFC champion. the tape for this women's Bantamweight Championship fight. So these fighters are just a year apart. Some differences in height and reach as well. Now for the official introductions, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. Good use of it there in landing that punch. Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Back to the feet. Cyborg's kick is blocked. Beautiful body kick lands right under the elbow. Nice movement punch. just non-stop on the ground, moving in all the right directions. Another nice transition by her there. She's moving a lot, but every movement has purpose. Yeah. 
Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Great movement by her here on the ground, and she just does it so fluidly and so easily. It, it's really a sight to behold. You can tell that she's been a lifetime developing the skill with the way that she's able to move with so little effort on the mat. Final seconds here. Five minutes in the books. All right, so there's the end of the round. She didn't force the finish after getting that knockdown with the You ready to fight? Ready. She missed with that jab. Oh, big punch land. Ground and pound is on point here. She's made this a focus going in to make these strikes count. Certainly doing that tonight. She's making each and every one of them count. Doing a very, very good job of landing shots, landing them in combination, and making them all matter. Hey, there it is, her first takedown of the fight. She told us in our fighter meeting Thursday, at some point I will take her down. She didn't expect it to take this long, but here it is. She really had to work to get this first takedown and she never gave up on herself. Continued to press, continued to shoot, continued to level change. Now she finally has secured her first takeoff. Big kick. And there's a takedown attempt by her there, DC, but she's unable to get it. She's unable to get it. Her opponent is ready and expected the attempt. She has to mix it up. She has to trick her. She's still standing, but she's got to get on the right. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, try to face so that she can evade her opponent from finishing. All right, she's landed some pretty good shots here tonight, but still DC unable to string any solid combinations together. I just don't believe she's confident in being in there. She's very aware of her opponent's power, so it's making her limit her activity on the inside. Throw that out the window. You're the faster fighter. You're successful. Let those combinations string together. Takedown lands for her. All right, half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where she's got as good an arsenal of chokes as anyone in the game. We'll see if she can set one up here. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. She's back up again. Oh, really using the reach advantage to land the jab there, DC. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Down as another takedown the tip lane. All right, there's the clapper. Ten seconds to go. Uh, and that's the end uh, of round number two. All right, so a big round for her there as she. You ready to fight? Ready. Good. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Wow! Fighters in this division get knocked out by that strike. Near perfect execution. She found a little crack in the defense and found a home for that strike. Landed flush, and that is another one for the highlight reel, but a few prettier than that one as she gets the big knockout win here tonight. So there she is, folks, a woman who now needs no introduction, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion of the World, getting it done by knockout and with major style points here tonight.
Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at six seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout and still the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Chris Sabo. All right, so she will head home the way she arrived as the undisputed UFC bantamweight champion as she gets it done by knockout here tonight. She was so dismissive of this challenger, and maybe with this result, you see as to what. I mean, when you start to put so many title defenses together, you start to see that. But don't think for a second she does not prepare herself as she did when she was just a challenger also. She is a phenomenal fighter. She is a champion 